We're here at the tasting table. I'm here with Bob Betts, the, uh, the winemaker from, uh, from, from Betts Winery. We're going to be tasting four wines today from 2012 vintage, uh, two of the Rhone and two of, of the Bordeaux. And uh, I'm really interested to taste these. I, I have not tasted it as of yet. I have tasted the 2011s, and I know that the 11 vintage was a much cooler vintage and a little bit challenging. Sounds as if 2012 was an absolutely outstanding vintage, warm, balanced, gave them everything that they needed. So it'll be interesting to taste these wines today and then just compare them to what the 2011s were like um, in, in our tasting. So. Um, Bob, in, in terms of 2012, um, sounds like it was just a, a top, great vintage for all of you. It was uh, a classic Washington vintage, both in terms of the heat and the expression. We do love what we got out of 2011. It just took us longer and more work to get there. I guess it was a cool vintage. Along comes 2012, of course, and it's just, it was a splendid vintage. It was predictable from the beginning, and it, um, it allowed us to manage with that predictability that comes with time, okay? So, uh, what we're seeing is an expression out of the 2012s, and this is La Serene, okay, which is a, uh, a single vineyard Syrah, 2012, it comes 100% from the mid Yakima Valley from a high altitude vineyard that's managed by Dick Boucher, yes, one of the great classic growers of Washington. So this is a single vineyard source. Single, single site, we've been farming these rows on this site since uh, 2000. So this would have been, uh, what, it's 13th vintage that we've been farming the same rows, at the same site with the same guys, kicking dirt together. Classic, classic Washington Syrah expression from color through finish. And uh, you know, these are both inky black, which is an invitation to pleasure, okay? A great dark red wine invites me in, okay? And that's, that's what I love seeing. Well, this has a sort of really deep inky purple, uh, has great legs on, on the side of the glass. Very much so. And then this one, being uh, this, this La Serene, is from that cooler site, higher altitude, pre-flood soils. You talked about the Missoula floods earlier. This is a pre-flood soil, so it's an, a more ancient soil that's degrading in a different way. And it gives us a wilder character. I was going to say, you know, yeah. it's interesting, despite the fact that this is a high altitude, um, cooler site, um, the nose still has that kind of gamey, meaty mm -hmm. um, personality to it. It's always the bad boy in the cellar, too. The, the final character of this wine is one of layered wildness and gaminess. There's, a, there's this wild, gamey, meaty sort of character followed by a little bit of smoke, a little bit of black pepper. I have an expression, I don't know if it means anything to anyone else. Take a, a bunch of, of dried herb seeds and grind them up and I get smells out of that. It's kind of like this, this dusty, uh, dusty, complex, dried herb seed yeah. that I love. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. is dried for, yeah. versus fresh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, and it's a, you know, the, I've, I've had the 2011, and um, the 2011 was sort of juicy and forward. Um, th this has, seems to have more complexity to it. It seems to have more meatiness and gaminess to it, but it's controlled. It's not over the top, it's not over the edge and the, the tannins are really well entered. It's almost like they're very velvety smooth tannins. It's the result of that 2012 vintage. Gave us abundant tannin, but crafted subtly 